custom GPT tutorial and review. Hello everyone, welcome back. So whenever I need to use a prompt more than three times, I always make sure to build my own custom GPT. This allows me to make my own customized queries that are far more detailed and are going to yield me the best answers possible. So today we're going to be taking a look at how you can build your own custom GPT using ChatGPT. Now let's jump right in. To get started, just log on to your ChatGPT account. Then you're going to click on GPTs on the left. Once you click on GPTs, you will see several different GPTs that have already been created, but you're just going to click on My GPTs on the top right. Once you click on My GPTs on the top right, you're going to click on Create a GPT. Once you do that, you're going to get started with building your own GPT. So first off, you're going to choose what you want to create. You can see you have your configuration on the right and then your create section on the left. I like to go into configuration to give this a name. So this is going to be my prompt builder GPT. And then after that, I'm going to add a description. So writes detailed prompts. And then after that, I can add instructions. And obviously your conversations can potentially include your instructions as well. However, if there is anything you want to specify, you can ask it to specify. So within my prompt builder, let's say I want to always make it professional or anything I want to specify that can be done. Then I have any conversation starters, any knowledge bases that I want to upload. So any of your own company data that you might want to use within your own custom GPT. No recommended model. Users will choose any model that they prefer. And then it has capabilities. Now I'm going to go into create and I'm going to start building. So I want to create a GPT that can make detailed research prompts on any given topic who helps finding the literature gap within that topic. Now, once I have put in my basic guidance of what I want my prompt GPT to do, it's going to get started with building. Now, on the right, you will see your preview of your GPT. So on the left side, you give it instructions how you want it to behave. And on the right side, you will actually find the way that it's going to behave. From here, I can proceed and it's going to give you a few questions. You can ask it to give you more questions. What should be emphasized or avoided in how it analyzes and suggests a research prompt? So it should emphasize topics that are unique and are related to human psychology and behavior and avoid chemical slash medicine related research. Now I have given it a very specific prompt on how I want it to behave. And now from here, now, thanks. How do you want me to talk? Should the tone be formal, casual, motivational, or something else? The tone should be academic. And now from here, it has, you know, updating the GPT. And you can test it out as you're, you know, putting in your prompt. So on the right side, now I'm going to give it a basic question. So let's say I'm just going to put in a random topic, which is going to be Labubu. And now Labubu are a very specific thing. Now from here, Labubu from Popmart. We can explore consumer psychology and and identity formation, aesthetic preferences and emotional attachment, scarcity, hype, and beh behavioral economics. And then within all of these topics, it's giving me the specific prompt. So how do designer toys like Labubu from Popmart contribute to identity expression and self-construction among young adult collectors in East Asian urban centers? Then we also have what aesthetic and emotional features of Labubu appeal to collectors and how do these features drive attachment? You guys can see the focus and the gap is given within each one of these prompts. And just like so, I can copy the prompt like this and then go into a new chat and then proceed. Now this is just one example of my own GPT. If I want to build a new GPT, I can get started with a brand new one. Obviously make sure to save your GPT because if you don't, it's going to be lost. Like we just went back into our GPTs and we did not save it. So it's not going to be saved and you have to get started from scratch. Now let's say I want to build my chatbot GPT or let's say I want to build a specific GPT for image generation or image generation prompts and then i'm going to go into create a gpt that writes a detailed version of prompt to create images it specifies the style of image colors and details and now just like so it is going to load up these instructions within my gpt and now i would have a separate gpt that helps me in creating better prompts for image generation so i want to maybe make a prompt for a woman a beautiful woman in 
medieval times. And if I just give it this basic little prompt, it's going to make it more detailed. A stunning medieval nobleman standing in a sunlit castle courtyard wearing element vo elegant velvet gowns, burgundy, a gold embroidery, long baby chestnut hair, so on and so forth. You can choose to make this a bit more specific, so if it should be adopted for Mid Journey or Dolly. Once you are satisfied with the performance of your GPT, you can configure these instructions further and you can even add conversation starters. Then click on create on the top right and you can choose the particular specifications so if you want this to only be available to you, for it to be available for anyone with a link or to directly have this be available within the GPT store. Then you're just going to click on save over here and once you click on save, your own custom GPT is ready. Now if I click on view GPT, I all I have to do is open up this GPT like so and this is my image generation GPT. Now from here, if I type in anything let's say I want to build a lemon and I'm not even going to specify anything else. I just added lemon. So from here, what kind of image? I just want to ask it to go with lemon. So I'm just going to type in lemon again. Now it is giving me different types of prompts. If I want a photorealistic still life, if I want a surrealist concept art, a cartoon character, vintage botanical illustration, or a cyberpunk style. And all of these different prompts are now available for me to create. So just like so, you can build your own GPTs using ChatGPT. Now, now, within this, it is really essential to upgrade to the Plus plan or the Pro plan whenever you're building your own GPTs. You can use custom GPTs within the free version of ChatGPT as well, which is something that is truly admirable because you cannot build your own custom GPTs on, you know, a bunch of the other platforms unless you are on a paid plan. However, opting for a paid plan does give you access to some more powerful tools, including ChatGPT's AI agent and much more. Now, building your own GPTs can have a bunch of different benefits and it's not limited at all. So if you're going ahead and exploring some GPTs and you find something that is really nice, but you feel like it's not doing the job exactly in the way that you want it to do this particular job. So you can customize the GPT as well. So you can take a look at their descriptions and you can see what this GPT is doing and then you can copy that and after that you can proceed with using those basic instructions within your own GPT. You guys can see within their top picks, they have writing, productivity, research and analysis, education, lifestyle, as well as doll E and then programming. So let's say that I want to do a basic GPT that is going to be built for maybe astrology. So I'm going to click on my GPTs and then click on create. Then from here, I'm going to proceed with my creation and I'm going to click on configure and name my GPT as my astro GPT. And then I'm going to go back into create. So GPT that predicts your day based on your horoscope, star signs, and moon signs. Now, once I have put in my basic prompt, now it's going to ask me, you know, a follow-up question on how I want to build my GPT. What exactly should this particular GPT be doing? So you can see that GPTs can be really diverse. So within this, what about Celestial Guide Day? Would you like to go with that or choose another? So I want to call this my let's go with it. So I think Celestial Day Guide is actually pretty good. Now on the right, you guys can see Astro GPT predicts your day based upon the sun, moon, and rising signs in a astrology now from here it has created a image as well i like it so i'm just gonna say i like it and then we're going to proceed now after that i'm going to add what is my energy or so i can just test this out now i want to add how will the moon affect my mood today so let's just ask it this particular question how will my mood be today and i'm just going to ask it this really general question so share your star sign moon sign and rising sign if you don't know these i i'll still offer you some insights based upon that so if you're unsure about your signs share your birthday time and location idk so from here we're going to specify our birth date birth location as well as birth time as close as you know it so then it is going to calculate our star sign for us and then it can proceed with its prediction now you can see how it has configured exactly what we're trying to do with this particular model once done you can just click on create on the top right and that is how you can get started with your own gpt whether it is a research prompt generator whether it is a image generating gpt or whether it is a astrology gpt it's truly something unique that you can build so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to build your own gpt if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video